Hello Tornado, how are you? I'm very good. So, what have you been up to lately? I hear you've a new band called Social Dissenters, is that correct? Dissenters, yeah. And what's what's the music like? What kind of...? Way out. Uh, should be way out, very far out. Um, I play keyboards on it. Okay. Uh, Duncan Pratt from the uh, Untamed 4 UK band is guitarist. Duncan Pratt um, is, has a long history in music, doesn't he? Yes, you? absolutely. He's worked with them. Um, People like Roger Daltrey, he's worked with uh, people like BBC Two, he's worked with people, the list goes on. Okay, and who, what else is the lineup? Dave J. Pierce. Okay, so, so, so Duncan Pratt plays guitar, is that yeah. correct? He's your rhythm or lead, or what's he? He can do li- rhythm and a bit of lead if he wants, yeah. Okay, so he's mainly rhythm, is he? Mm-hmm. And the other person? Uh, D- uh, David J. Pierce. David J. Pierce, I haven't heard of David J. Pierce, is he? He is a producer, singer, songwriter, director, and he. he he has worked, he is now working in the art centre in, um, what do you call it, in um, Roscommon there. Okay. And Black Hole Studios he, is his company, as well as Nucleus Recordings. Okay, in, so, uh, French Park so you've worked with him before, so because yeah. I think you mentioned Black Hole Studios Yeah, before. that's right, I've worked with him. He's played drums with me before in the, when I played the Voodoo Lounge. Okay, and have you, have you recorded any new songs or what have you done? I have uh, recorded, um, I'm, I'm recording a, a song uh, soon, um, hopefully, uh, not, not now, but further down the line from my late uncle called um, Elvis of Writing. And so your, your, your uncle was Eugene McKay, who's yeah. the playwright. Yeah. And he was your, your mother's brother, is that correct? That's right. Um, and your mom, of course, passed away, I think it was 1995. And so Eugene um, McCabe, he passed away quite recently. He was in the Irish Independent and in the Irish yeah. Times, I remember. He was 90. He was 90 years old. Yes. And um, I, I looked take at, after him in the writing. You do, because cause I was looking at some of his stuff and um, he's got a lot of books, a lot of plays, novels. You know, he's a, he was a very talented man. Absolutely. World class. And did Eugene, does, did you, does Eugene have like a family? Does he have yes, children? Yes, he does. Oh, yes, he has. Yeah, yeah. McCabe, the actor. Okay. Uh, Marcus McCabe, who's Kama Hemp. Okay. Uh, you know, does, does hemp of the Monaghan, has his own business. Okay. Doing, uh, you know, for hemp, um, you know, insulation and all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, then there's Stephen. Okay. And there's, um, there's, um... Was there Ruth McCabe? Was that, Patrick that? McCabe. And was there a Ruth? Ruth was actually the actor in My Left Foot and the Snapper, which was his, his, his daughter. I knew that, because there was a Ruth McCabe, I do remember, in, in My Left Foot, or one of the that's films, right, the Irish, famous yeah, Irish films. That's her. And she was very good. Yeah. Very talented lady. That's right. And, um, and he owned Stramard, which is very good architecture as well. He what? Owned Stramard House. He owned it, did he? Yes. And yeah. what was that? Yeah, that's a family home. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it's a kind of a, a kind it's of listed. Two legs, one at the back and one at the front. It's a kind of a listed historical building. Yes, it is, and it's on its own land. Wow. And that's why I, I, I go, where, where I did go to escape from, you know, home and life and all that. And yeah. Like that. Yeah. So when can we expect the new songs? Working on the new song, as I said, I'm writing a song called "The Elvis of Writing," dedicated to Nora Nora Hugh McCabe. Okay. And w- w- can we expect a release date or...? We're going to work on it next week or the week after and, um, and we're going to get it re- ready to go and uh, we're going to work on uh, hopefully kick Covid into touch. Kick Covid into touch? Yeah. Then, okay. Absolutely. And just what, what about like um, gigs and stuff? Are you going to...? Gigs, yes. Um, we're, we're, we're working with them. Um, I'd like to put out a word to the one and only uh, Catherine McGaughy. She's actually from North, uh, originally from Strabane. Uh, no, it's from uh, Oma, but she works with Straban Radio as a producer and all that. Okay. I'd like to say hello to her because she's looking after our production and our management for UK. Her company, the name of her company is Fox Entertainment. Oh wow, that sounds very official altogether. It's, yeah, it uh, is. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. Very good. Okay. I mean, she's looking into a place in Lancaster, Lancaster called Marine Hall and we're hoping to play there next year. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Social dissenters and maybe another few bands. So we're going to do merchandise now. We were we were in the um, the uh, George Street Arcade earlier on, right? Okay. And yeah. um, did you know that George Street Arcade is the oldest shopping centre in Ireland? I do know that. Yes. And I actually made my first ever single, Zed Walking there. Did you? Yes. Oh Walking wow. Walking through it. Yeah. Actually, yes. That's that's the building. Yeah. I've seen Zed Walking. Yeah. And we were we were we we are in the arcade at the moment. Yeah. 
And anyway, and what, what I wanted to say to you was um, that, uh, so it's, it's the oldest shopping center in Ireland, but it's also the oldest, I think, oldest running shopping center in Europe. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's quite historic. And then the building that it's in yes. is absolutely stunning. Yes, it is. You know, so it's a, it's a, it's a good place for, um, there's a great atmosphere in it. Yes. It you is. know, there's lovely places to eat and all that. So That's true. It's, yeah, 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 it's one of those. And it's near one of your favorite places, the Central Hotel. Yes, which unfortunately is getting partly demolished in 125 person building is. You were actually the person that introduced me to the Central Hotel, you know, yeah. and the atmosphere in there was very arty, it was that's very... Absolutely, that's because that's that's the reason Nick Parr of the Republic of Luce used to disappear to there, he didn't want anyone to recognise him or anything, just have a coffee and so on. Yeah, because there's it, a lovely atmosphere there, like, it's, it's very, um, it's very, uh... Going back in time. Yeah, but you can feel the atmosphere when you walk in, yeah. so I, I hope it's not the case that they're going to demolish it and then it's going to be just like the Crown Plaza or the Radisson or, you know what I mean? That's what they'll do. I hope they don't, I really don't, I hope they yeah. don't, you know? Yeah. So there you go, listen, Cantronadio, have you anything to say to the fans? Uh, yes, I'll be back very soon. Um, I'm playing the, um, if this is going out tonight, I'm playing tomorrow um, in the uh, uh, the Canton Casey's uh, out in Mullingar on the Joe Dunn Square at 3 o'clock. I've got full permission and uh, I'll be rocking on outside. So that's Sunday the 6th of September 2020, just for the record. At 3 o'clock, the count is back. Very good. Okay, so thank you very much, Cant.